How's it going guys, Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox news video here on the channel. My Roblox news episodes are all about website updates, stupid drama, and random topics that happen within the Roblox community. Got a fairly interesting episode for today. A lot of crazy news has happened over the past week and we have a lot to cover. So let's get straight into it. I guess I'm gonna show you guys this one first. This one was a tweet from RBX News. So make sure to follow them. They said, Roblox has made a significant change regarding regarding groups. Navigating groups is now operated client side, speeding up the user experience. Very small update, most of you probably didn't notice it, however it is pretty good. It basically just means browsing Roblox groups is a lot faster, so clicking on the about section, clicking on the store, switching between groups. Loading these used to be quite slow, but now it's a lot faster, so that's a pretty good update. We also have some Lobu news, so this is about Roblox China, but this one is from Roblox RTC. Breaking news, Lobu Roblox China is now acquired for any player that wants to play in China, they must have a Chinese ID. Via Ruben Sim, translations will be under this thread. So previously, anyone could sign up to Roblox Lobu or Roblox China. I don't know why you would want to, but maybe if you wanted to test something or you were just very curious, then you could just go ahead and sign up. But now it looks like you need a Chinese ID. I don't quite know what that is. I mean, clearly I'm not Chinese, so I don't have one. Uh, they followed up with a translation. In order to meet the requirements, requirements of laws, regulations, and competent authorities, and protect your legal rights and interests, we need to obtain your name and identity information for real name authentication. That's kind of mad actually. Could you imagine if the regular version of Roblox had this? It's kind of like that stupid voice chat verification update that they were talking about, but like on the entire Roblox platform. How are kids supposed to sign up? Yeah, this one is a little bit strange. Luckily for me guys, I did already make a Roblox Lobu account, SharkBlocks500 564. However, that's the display name. My real name is like Robloxian Y2B or whatever that says. I made a video on this like a month ago. As you can see, that's why it says last online one month ago. That video is somewhere on my channel. You can watch it if you want to. To be honest, I don't really care about using the Lobu version of Roblox anyway. Maybe it's all right for content, but the regular version is obviously a lot better. Next up, we have some news about Roblox being mean. Yep, Roblox was pretty mean to the YouTuber called Dita Plays. RTC said, looks like Dita to plays has been removed as a QA manager from Roblox. Unknown why, but I will tell you guys the reason in a second. His badges have been removed from his profile. However, he is still in the employee group, so it's unconfirmed if he is still an employee for Roblox. The reason is still unknown. For those saying he was kicked from the Metaverse group, wrong, he's been fired as a manager for QA. He was fired last week according to sources. So he got fired from Roblox? To get fired from a job, you must do something pretty serious, so let's find out what happened. Now the reason to this is very very unfair for Dita Plays. Whoever that Roblox employee was that decided to fire him is just being very mean and unreasonable here. Take a look at this, this reason is stupid. I believe he got his position taken from him because he leaked stuff from the Metaverse Champions event. Dazzling Legend replied and said that ain't the reason, but Dita himself said it is. And this was only like 14 hours ago. Big Guy said Metaverse was in April. It was months ago. Why did they do it now? And Dita was just like I know right? So yeah, clearly Dita to himself is a little bit confused here and obviously a little bit upset. I mean, getting fired from a job sucks. I've got fired from jobs before, you know, it's very unfair. But what the heck? He got fired from Roblox for like the most stupid reason ever. And this thing happened months ago. I don't know if you guys saw that video. I made a video about it. I think Kaneko Kitten did as well. Dita Plays tried to debunk the kind of like pink Valk rumor. Obviously, he was QA testing the event and he basically said the pink Valk is not real and you need to get all of the boxes to kind of like create a Valk and I think he showed like one silhouette image or something. The quality of the image was terrible anyway. Yeah, that is very, very unfortunate. I hope he can get his job back. I hope Roblox can change their mind because firing someone for something which happened like five months ago, which didn't even matter in the first place, is incredibly ridiculous. Let's move on to some more Roblox news. This one is from the official 21 Pilots Twitter and they said your band has been invited to perform in the Roblox metaverse. Our goal is to always perform for as 
many people as possible. We are really looking forward to this. They did actually upload a video here, so I guess we're going to click play and watch this. And as you guys can see, this kind of like concert experience thing is going to be a lot like the Lil Nas X one. So there will be like big Afro characters which are kind of like dancing around. This video right here is a little bit weird because for some reason they decided to show like one of the members taking a piss in the video. Yeah, I don't quite know why they did that. <laughs> why would they do that for advertising a Roblox event? That is honestly very, very strange. Um, Yeah, let's just skip this one. That's actually a bit weird. Got another tweet here from Inside Roblox. This account is an official Roblox account over on Twitter. We're honored to have made the top 10 on PG Biz top 50 mobile game makers of 2021. Wow, top 10. That is a pretty good achievement. Hopefully Roblox celebrates this by giving everyone a free promo code. Yeah, that'd be pretty sick. It won't happen, but it would be cool if it did. In other news, there has also been some updates to the Roblox sign up page. Another one from Roblox RTC. Roblox will soon update the sign up page to make sure you have the right password that you want and confirm it. And if we actually head over to the sign up page, I believe this update is actually out. So here in the UK, this update is currently out for me. I don't know if this update is worldwide just yet. I'm guessing it probably is. Anyway, previously you could just enter a password and that was it. Now you have to confirm your password. Just for a quick demonstration, I entered in a username and a password. One thing I noticed, passwords aren't hidden anymore when you type them in. That's a little bit of a security issue. I don't know. In theory, they should be hidden by default, but you can click on the eye icon right here. And it also asks you to confirm your password. And if you type it in wrong, it will say passwords do not match. So there you go. You guys can create this account if you want to. Just change the password. Otherwise, someone probably will get you banned. I want to show you guys this news as well, because a few people got confused about this one. But to be honest, it's actually very boring. This one is from Roblox Trackers. Roblox has added a new age appropriate design code FAQs article to the Roblox Help Center, which hints at the future ability to exercise your privacy rights, like the right to be forgotten through roblox.com slash support. I read the comments and a lot of people don't know what this is. It's very simple, but it's very boring. Most people like won't really care about this. Basically, when you go to the Roblox support page, you don't have to enter your age anymore and your privacy settings can be forgotten. So that means like forgotten by the Roblox employees. So yeah, there you go. That's it explained. You can't change your Roblox age or anything with this. And yeah, it's very boring, like I just said. Another one from Roblox RTC. I'm just going to cover this very quickly. Many people are angry at YouTube for terminating Ethan Gamer's account. Ethan Gamer, do you guys remember this guy? He was like one of the OG Roblox YouTubers. This guy's been making content for years. I don't know if he still makes content, but his YouTube account got deleted. Yeah, YouTube is proper dodgy. Luckily, his account was restored only a couple of days ago. I've got no idea why YouTube decided to delete his account in the first place. Very, very strange. I don't trust YouTube. They keep doing this type of thing to older creators. So like people that have been on the platform for years. And yeah, it's a little bit dodgy. Got some news here from Jaunty Ape Games. And if you don't know who this guy is, he pretty much made like all of the classic old items on the Roblox avatar shop. And he said, I think it's time I retired as a professional 3D artist. I'm going to leave this Twitter account open though. I'll also leave my portfolio up for those that are curious about Roblox's catalog past. Take care, Robert Jaunty Ape Games. Bye for now. So yeah, that's kind of sad actually. This guy has quit all of his like professional 3D artist stuff to do with Roblox. I know he was trying really hard to get into Roblox UGC and Roblox just never accepted him. Roblox are just mean to be honest. We also have some news about that pet simulator game. I honestly don't understand how people play this. These simulator games to me are just torture. Like I just can't play them mentally. Roblox RTC said if you wanted to get a pet simulator plushie, well it sold out in two minutes. Damn, people really want this pet simulator cat plush. I think it was quite expensive as well. I guess people were buying it for the codes, but yeah, there you go. This plushie is now very rare. And guys, the last news for this video is about Roblox plugins. This one right here is from JMK Dev over on Twitter. And he said, I'm working on rewriting my Roblox multi accounts extension, which allows you to swap between multiple Roblox accounts easily without logging in and out. It should be done very soon. In the meantime, get the older version here. That sounds pretty cool and kind of useful for me. To be fair, guys, I'm probably going to make a whole video about these random kind of unique Roblox plugins and extensions that you get over on the Google Chrome store. I know I've made previous videos about better Roblox, Roblox Plus, Robro, but there's so many more like random extensions that I've never even tried before. Maybe I can make separate videos or just one video about all of them. Yeah, 
maybe I will do that fairly soon. That sounds kind of interesting. And there we go, guys. That is it for another episode of Roblox News. If you guys enjoyed this one, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.